The name Daughter of Wisdom always causes eyebrows to rise. Who are we? Who are the Daughters of Wisdom? Daughters of Wisdom are as varied as the thousands of us that there are around the world. We were founded in uh, France in 1703 by St. Louis de Montfort. We are women uh, worldwide who practice the spirituality of wisdom, who love that source of inner strength that wisdom brings. And I do what I do because I love. I describe wisdom as the very presence of uh, Jesus incarnate. A daughter of wisdom is probably a person who is, is uh, captured by divine wisdom, seeking divine wisdom, and who is expressing um, the search for wisdom through her own talents, her own personality, uh, the gifts that enable her to minister. Because wisdom is found in people, wisdom is found in creation. Wisdom spirituality means getting to know my God in whom I have placed my life. Everybody is hungering and thirsting for God in this world. And that's what we're giving them. At age 87, the, um, the prayerful witness a prayerful presence is really very important. We know that we're not the ones doing the healing. It's the power of God through us. The church to us is 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 not a Roman Catholic Church up the corner. It's uh, it's not the institutional church. We see the church as the uh, faithful gathered, the faithful community gathered. When we look at our fundamental mission, is evangelization. But our sisters take people at face value and accept them, accept them as people and sometimes they're on the fringe because of uh, morals that the church may hold uh, and it's not that we condone behavior but we certainly love and accept the person and work with and work with all peoples. Spirituality really means that from here you go forth and you do some service, you do ministry in the world. Uh, we've tried to recently model that with what we've done in our environmental concerns with the installation of 80 solar panels, with our concern about our water coming from our own wells, for the uh, electrical conservation, for the nourishing food, which is also healthy. Uh, in the, in many things. There's so many aspects of this care of the land uh, so that the animals on the land are always eating on anything that's healthy and there's no pesticides. These to me are all part of spirituality in service to humanity and to the larger cosmos. We try to live the justice of wisdom. That's very important, especially in today's world the underprivileged, those neglected by society, and the poor. 
The paths of wisdom are justice. Justice is something that we're always looking at with our own decisions. Uh, are, do, are these decisions just? Are they fair? Uh, are they in, in line with our, our own mission? The spirit of the, of the sisters is, is all around. What makes me especially proud of our congregation is our internationality. Uh, we are a congregation without borders. We have sisters serving in India, Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, um, Malawi, Africa, Congo, Africa. Uh, we have people serving in, um, in um, um, Madagascar. These places need resources. We can be sent anywhere and we form one. And that also is a very special characteristic of wisdom. Uh, there is no distinction. No distinction between race, nationality, sex, no matter what. We are all one. And as a congregation, this is what we try to live, and I believe we are living it. I, I do believe we have a future, and I do believe we're trying as hard as we can to be open to the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit leads, we want to go. To enter that contemplative stance of, you know, letting go and letting come, somehow that is the essence of saging. Uh, it's the wisdom of our age, and so, you know, the idea of dying is not in itself um, a terrible thing. It is dying to give rise to something new. And, um, you know, as our bodies weaken in age, I think that is one thing that we, we hold to. Um, to be gentle, to be humane, and perhaps to, to, to bring that, to share that with anyone else with whom we are in relationship. Uh, as, as we grow older, I just see such creativity in what our sisters do for others, and which, is, which is wonderful to see. Uh, limitations do not, do not stop them. And as far as technology is concerned, I, I am just really excited about the age we're in, and I think it helps bring our sisters closer together. There's, there's a lot of people crying and needing out there, a lot of work for the Daughters of Wisdom to do. And beyond humanity today, I think we must keep in mind, serve the cosmos, serve all creation. And that affects how we eat, how we live, how we use our finances, what we support. Uh, I think there's many exciting ways that wisdom spirituality can be looked out today. And I'm not always really sure we've tapped on it. It's young people, it's associates, it's sisters. But it's all of the above, reaching out to everybody else and sharing a spirituality and a sense of mission. Uh, and, and mission that is truly gospel living that's going to do it. Just as Jesus said to the apostles, come and see, I would invite anyone who was discerning, thinking about, considering a religious vocation, to please be in touch and to come and see, spend time with us, and perhaps see that this could be a very fulfilling life for you as well. in community to seek and contemplate divine wisdom present in a world that hungers for meaning justice and compassion we seek to bring the message of Jesus incarnate wisdom to those experiencing injustice violence poverty and oppression 
especially women and children. We are the daughters of wisdom. wisdom.